I'm the aircraft's technical expert. I have to know everything about the aircraft from the most recent service directives to how to fix it even if support and equipment are hundreds to thousands of miles away. The aircraft commander depends on me to ensure all systems are go. Tail's coming down. Hi, I'm Corporal Corey Edwards. I'm from Sudbury, Ontario, and I'm a flight engineer for the Canadian Forces. The Air Force is a good fit for me. I've always been fascinated by aircraft, flying, and I wanted to do something with my life that makes a difference. Clear right. Clear left. And I'm Warrant Officer Jacques Boucher from Lawrenceville, Quebec. I'm also a flight engineer in the Canadian Forces. As a flight engineer, I'm responsible for carrying out pre-flight inspection prior to every flight. Preparing the aircraft for takeoff means ensuring that all systems are functioning correctly, fuel loads correct for the mission, and the loads are safely distributed. flight engineer that provides the aircraft commander with the confidence and required information to make go or no-go decisions for the operational mission. On a rotary wing aircraft such as the Griffin, you may find yourself slinging cargo into a confined area when you get called to do a medical evacuation with or without the assistance of medical personnel. Good hands. You're out, you're safe. Oh, did I mention this could be under the cover of darkness while wearing night vision goggles? The majority of a flight engineer's duties are role or mission specific, driven by the mission we are about to carry out and in direct support of operations around the world. On some missions, you may be moving troops or taking part in an air to air fuel transfer. You may even find yourself behind a door-mounted machine gun. Because we go wherever the forces go, you may work in remote places, sometimes in dangerous situations. Even here, away from home base, with limited or non-existent support, it's up to you, the flight engineer, to ensure any problems with the aircraft are turned around quickly. The most rewarding things in my flight engineer career were my deployments. In 96, I went to Haiti. In 2000, I went to Kosovo. In 2002, I went to Bosnia. The sense of accomplishment once I got home was incredible. Most flight engineers start out in an aviation technician occupation and are cross-trained to gain the broader knowledge they'll need to be a flight engineer. That includes flying training, survival training, and the technical knowledge and skills to attain aircraft-specific certification. The training is extensive. It's designed to give the flight engineer the high level of technical competency and airmanship that allows him or her to act with confidence, decisiveness, and ingenuity, whatever the situation. The job can be extremely stressful, but I love being able to put what I know to work and feel I'm an essential part of a great team serving Canadians, whatever the mission. If you've got what it takes to be a flight engineer, we'd be glad to welcome you aboard.